guys? Um, I know it's been a while since we had a real video, and this really isn't a real video either. It's just gonna be me talking. Does that actually look purple? It's not actually purple. It's weird it looks purple on camera. Anyway, so um, the engine build, we're waiting on tools. I need tools for the spool valves on the cams to be able to get the, uh, I think it's like the cam, it's not cover, forget, it's on the side of the block, to get that thing off the cams. Um, and I got the tool for the crank pulley. So I'm just waiting for these other tools to show up from El Paso, my buddy Clifton. Um, you know, a lot of you guys probably know him. He's EQT related. Uh, he's let me borrow these tools so I can get the build done. Um, transmission will be here this week. Uh, it's getting delivered downtown to my buddy's business. Shout out to him for uh, letting me do that. It saved me quite a bit of money on shipping. So we'll have that this week. Hopefully we'll have uh, some other new unreleased goodies as well this week. And uh, the tools should be here like Monday, Tuesday. So this coming weekend, be back to doing the motor stuff. So next Monday you should be seeing a motor video and then hopefully by Thursday Friday this week you'll see the transmission video that's what I'm hoping for then we can get this thing back on a roll um, they're starting I think this Monday or next Monday to start lifting bands again in New Mexico everything's been closed down so we I've been able to like really go nowhere do nothing um, it's a lot of working doing stuff behind the scenes the shirts are starting to get made I don't know if I said that in the last video or not but the shirts should be done soon and I think that's about all I got. And, uh, we'll be getting right back to it as soon as I can. Like, I didn't want to pause. I didn't want to have any break. I just wanted to make, you know, keep things rolling, rolling, rolling. But sometimes life and not doing your research properly, um, yeah, it gets in the way. I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. I did. Didn't buy anything on Black Friday, really. I mean, today's Sunday. I still have time, you know, Cyber Monday and stuff. I saw Apple or Walmart selling the new Apple AirPods, for, like their lowest price ever, the AirPod Pros. I have like perfectly fine AirPods, but like after trying out my roommates the other day with like the noise canceling and uh, I forget what they call it, like spatial audio, like it's really cool. Like those those pods, the, the pod pros are pretty freaking neat. So I don't know, might grab some of those and maybe some tools. Um, definitely need a um, heavier duty torque driver. I don't know, but uh Dunk for a minute. I'm gonna drop in some clips here of this uh, C6 I wrote in the other week. I think it's dope. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Drop a thumbs up. We'll get back to regular content here soon. Just wanted to let you guys know what's going on. Oh, and I still don't have tracking on the carbon hatch either. So, still got that coming. I need to source Lex Lexan still, but little by little. The trans will be here soon, and that's a half the freaking puzzle right now. And then the hatch, when it gets here, well, that'll, that'll, that should get knocked out pretty easily. But the car, I mean, obviously, we need alignment and a retune and corner balance and seat brackets and seat belts. We need all types of stuff. So there's just hang on tight. Merch will be here soon. Uh, more real content coming. Anyway, enjoy these clips.
Well, for the MVPs that want to stick around and keep watching here, uh, for anybody that doesn't know, Shop Dat's got a whole uh, engine build kit on their site for us. So you go here and then you just click through what you do and do not need. So I'm going to go through this real quick, figure out what I do and do not need. Oh, you can even get oil in there too. And coolant. Dang. All right. Um, yeah, this will be interesting. Then I'll have to email them, tell them I need a couple other things that probably aren't on here. Yeah, yeah, there's all types of stuff. All right, so that's ordered. There's quite a bit, and it's not even everything that I need, because I still need, like, rod bearings and stuff and machining, but this is going to be, like, the majority of every bolt and seal and gasket and uh, timing chains, water pump, thermostat, um, seals for the injectors and uh, uh, some coolant um, yeah all types of stuff cost cost about thirteen hundred dollars like I said I still need rod bearings I still need <coughs> um, crank bearings or main bearings um, what else I still kind of want to go with the bigger turbo housing um, I kind of want to go with bigger injectors and a bigger pump I still need to figure out what I'm going to do about this intercooler, if I'm going to keep it, sell it, what I'm going to do there. There's, I know a guy doing an RS3 intercooler on his car, and I looked into those, but, you know, the 1,000 horsepower capable ones are like $1,800, $1,600. Like these, these things are freaking massive. And one thing I'm not trying to do is add a ton of weight to the front end, especially with the leaping AC. I like to keep it the same or less when it comes to the next intercooler, so... I might just swap to the AMS, it is lighter, but the, D, the DO88 or DO88 intercooler does seem pretty promising as well. I don't know what the weight is on that, but uh, I think I'll do some research this week, see if I can find anybody that has one that can weigh one for me, and then I'll weigh the racing line, see what they compare. If not, if it's not worth it, then maybe just throw some water meth on there, call it a day. Um, but without having the AC there in a way, and then having a custom shroud, and... Uh, Everything, if you guys remember when I pulled the front end off, the AC condenser in front of the intercooler was like all types of tore up, like definitely preventing some airflow. And then with like a proper shroud where air can't escape through the sides, the top or under it, it's forcing all that air through the intercooler. I think that'll really help. And then I throw a vented hood on top of that, really help a lot. But I'm not gonna be able to do all those things right away. Everything costs time and money and, and all that. So, I don't know, so many decisions to make. <laughs> I guess I got all winter. It's starting to actually get really cold here, so that kind of sucks. But at least this kit's ordered. That's out of the way. Um, one less thing I got to worry about ordering and waiting for and dealing with. So hopefully this this will be here before I even need it. Hopefully with all the COVID and crap. Anyway, if y'all done watching this far, I really appreciate it. Um, I can't get, wait to get back to wrenching. I really can't. I miss it. Just been so many holdups and doing other shit in life. So. Man. And these shirts, they look so freaking dope. I can't wait. Anyway, I'm ranting. Uh, drop a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys on the flip flop.